Hello everyone, so in this video let us talk about a problem from lead code. The problem name is Nim Game. So let's start. So you are playing a game Nim, the actual Nim game with your friend. Now initially there is a heap of stone in this game on the table. Now you and your friend will alternatively take turns and you go first. Now in your turn, you can take any number from 1 till 3, any 3 stones and remove it from the heap. Okay, you can just assume that there are like n numbers in a heap. You can take one stone, two stone, three stone from the top of the heap and you can remove them. Now, you like then the next player will do the same thing. He has three options. Either he can remove the first like one stone, two stone or the three stone. And similarly, they can keep on going like this until the games end when the last stone, like whoever removes the last stone will actually win the game. That's the overall problem. Now, how you just have to tell that whether you will win the game if you play it smartly or you will not win the game. That's the whole problem. Now, so this is some sort of a game theory problem uh, in which like if there are multiple players or like maybe two players which are playing a game, then that particular problem comes under a game theory problem. So in game theory problem, generally try to find out solution for at least like four or five cases. Okay, let's say that the heap, like the stone of heap have uh, four stones. 3 stones, 2 stones, 1 stone, 10 stones, just for 5, 6 examples, just find out and then you'll start getting out some pattern and that's the whole case for this problem. So let's try to figure out some patterns for this problem. Let's say that you have uh, one stone, okay, you have only one stone in the heap. If there is one stone and uh, you are going first, so you will win the game, okay. So I will just also mark it out. So let's say if n is equal to 1, so this is n whose value equal to 1, then you will win, which is like, uh, you will win, go oh, win, let's tell you. Then if n equal to 2, which means that there are 2 stones, then because it's your first chance, like you always go first. So if n equal to 2, you can just take out both the stones because the game statement says that you can take out 1 stone, 2 stone or 3 stones. And if you take out both of the stones, you will always be taking out the last stone as well. So you will win. So in this case also you will win. Similarly, if there are 3 stones as well, you will also win. But if there are four stones, if there are four stones, let's say one stone, two stone, three stone, four stone. Now, if you take out the first stone, the other person will take out the next three stones. If you take out, let's say that the first two stones, the other person will take out the last two stones. If you take out the top three stones, the person, last person, like the next person will take out the last stone. So in all the three scenarios, whatever you try to choose in the first chance, the other player will try to like oversmart you and obviously will win. And thus you will lose in this chance. Like if the number of stones is four, you will definitely lose in any of the way you will possibly. So in this case, you will like uh, fail. You can just write on F or like let's say lose. So yeah. Let's say define now you have five stones. If you have five stones now, now let's say take an example of that. So one, two, three, four, five. Now, your actual main strategy is such that to take out the last stone. Okay. Let's say that if you in the five stone game, you just only take the first stone out. It's your strategy. You just take out the first stone out. The other person will have three choices. The other person can take one stone. If the other person can take one stone, you will take the next three stones in the next chance and you will win. If the other person will take two stones, you will now win because you can take out the two stones. Other person can take three stones, other you will win also. So it means that in this, all the scenarios, if you take out the first stone in the first chance, because your first chance, you can play it optimizedly, you can take it in any way. So you will take out only one stone. And in the next chance, the other player will do whatever, whatever number of stones he will pick, he will definitely lose in the next chance. So you will always win. So you will always win in this. So the main actual logic for game theory problem is to try to like twist the game according to your logic so that you will win. Okay, and or like whoever players you want to make the person win, that person. That's the overall logic. So you just have to see that whether there is at like there is any path, okay, which will lead down to your answer, so that the other player will definitely win whatever that person will do. You just have to bring that person down to a point with in which that person will do anything, and that person will definitely lose. Okay, that is the case in which you will definitely win, and you just have to find out those conditions. Also. Now, similarly, if you do it for six, you will win. You can try it out. 7 you will win. So you will try to see any pattern that if you see like 3 wins then there is a loss. Like in, in 
like when there's a like this four then if you just do that for eight you will see that it, it is again a loss and then there are three wins a loss three wins a loss so you will definitely see a pattern that you are only losing when a number n is a multiple of four so if uh, n is a multiple of four which means that n mod four is equal to zero then you will definitely lose else you will win all the conditions so you will just directly observe it here as well else uh, you will definitely see that uh, you will always win so these are such a problem in which you have to just find out by observation only try to draw out some examples and try to see uh, what is the actual condition that is fitting in this particular scenario. that's our logic so the codes now will like boils down to a very simple code if n is mod 4 is equal to 0 which means that it's a multiple of 4 answer is false that in this scenario you will lose and in any other scenario you will win so that's our logic and code so it's an o of 1 because you're just doing one operation for fun time going city for the problem and that's overall logic and code for this problem thank you for watching this video till the end i will see you in the next one till i keep coding and bye